Greetings again, YouTube. This is the Sarcasm Detector coming to you from the Acrimony server playing Ark Survival Evolved. So you might have caught a glimpse of what this particular episode is about. And this one took a little bit of preparation in my hand. I was, uh, again, scouting along the uh, coastline near my base. Still looking for a good spot for my water base. And I happened to catch this. Now, this particular area happens to be a spino spawn. And this is actually where I caught my first spino using this building here as a trap for him. Obviously, he's quite a lot larger than this building. But what I did was I aggravated him and ran straight through here as he was chasing me. He gets his head stuck in there and I trank him. So I'm going to try doing the same thing with this Spino. I did notice he was fairly high level. I think about a level 116. And I don't like the idea of having a carnivore of that high level quite so near our base. And he seems to have ran off. So he's just rampaging in this area. Let's see if we can find him again. I left um, most of my good gear back at home because I don't want it to get destroyed in case I get eaten. Get my gun out just in case there's something else in the area. I do have several of my good stuff with me, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Hopefully not. Where did this guy go? Oh, there's trees falling. Oh, there he is. Pull up my telescope. Level 116 male. I'm wondering, should I just try to trank him from here since I'm up a cliff, he can't get to me? But there's always the danger that he'll pass unconscious in the water and drown, or he gets eaten by mega piranhas and super crocs that are in the area. This guy loves to frolic in the water eating fish. So again, these spinos are fairly large. They are uh, just a little bit larger than T-Rexes. They do a little, slightly less damage than a T-Rex. But they are quite a bit more mobile. They're significantly faster on land and in water. They're quite at home in water. They can swim very fast. And I'm actually quite lucky they do not have a large aggro range. If this was a T-Rex, you would have spotted me and uh, came after me right away. So he's actually in a good spot there. Although if I start shooting him from here... He will chase me into the water. So not quite as good as I thought. What's up with this turtle? Turtle is bleeding, so there's something here in this area. I don't know, it might be actually worth the risk.
It is. Let's see if we can get to him real fast. Beforehand, I did prepare the kibble he requires. He likes the uh, Argentavis kibble. And I got him a new saddle. There is a new mod that was just released that got installed on the server called the Pimp My Dino mod. And that has some really fantastic... Uh, some new saddles, basically. Some... Uh, the, well, you guys will see in a moment once this guy gets tamed and I put the saddle on him. Alright, alright, we're good. Doesn't look like there's anything else in the area. There are predators down that way. He's actually waking up fairly fast, so hopefully we can knock him out. I mean, hopefully we can get him tamed fairly fast. Helmet, which has a built in flashlight. Oh, and I'm hungry. Come on, buddy, have a bite of that kibble. You love the kibble. up faster than he's eating. I don't want to trank him again. I don't have any narcotics on me, unfortunately. the same problem with the previous spino that we uh, that we managed to tame he's a very slow eater although with the kibble that we have and the fact that the server is set to 25 times tame he only needs to eat two or three times before he actually gets tamed I wonder if these spinos are bugged. Yeah, his, uh, his food is going down a bit slow. That does have me a little bit worried. I've actually had a spino wake up on me before. Really just down the speech taming him he woke up and took a nice healthy chunk out of me managed to get him knocked out again but uh, he lost all the bonus levels from uh, being tamed oh here we go 57 levels and halfway tamed some interesting colors. Looks like uh, reddish, orange, and green at the tips of his sails. Yeah, 
so let's jump back up to 7,260. So approximately when he gets to 7,200, he should eat the next piece of kibble. And I'm really hoping he does that before he wakes up. I do not want to shoot him again. And the reason for that, if I hop over to this screen, you see the taming effectiveness is at 100%, and that gives him a certain number of bonus levels. If I shoot him again with a track dart, that effectiveness is going to go down. And he'll lose those bonus levels. And we're surprisingly lucky that no other... No other carnivores have uh, come out for him. Especially from down that direction. Interesting, a purple drop down there. I haven't taken a closer look at his stats. Let's uh, get a bit closer. 7,238. Getting close. Alright, so Stam is 875. That's a bit low. Health is a little low. Weight isn't very much at all. I really preferred my dinos have at least 1,000. Especially since I tend to carry a lot on my character. My character's a, a, a very heavy character, a build character, so his weight is very high. He can carry a lot of stuff. So I need my dinos to be able to carry me and anything that I'm carrying. 170% damage. Interesting. And movement speed, there's no bonus at all. So that might change... When he tames, looks like he's close to halfway awake. But he should be taking the next bite very soon. Actually, I think we're good. I think he's not going to wake up before he tames. I think we're lucky in that regards. Always a valid uh, concern, though. A dodo around here, I can hear it. There it is. Come on, buddy. Seven thousand two hundred. So you should be grabbing another bite any second now. I think. I hope. There we go. So however long that took to get down 80 points of hunger is how much we're going to need for him to tame. So he should be approximately a quarter awake by the time uh, he takes his next bite. We'll stick our head through here. Nothing scary. This really is one of the safest areas on the on the map. I think it's uh open this up. West Zone 1. It's called West Zone 1, although we're in the south. So any, this area, West Zone 1 and all the south zones are fairly safe. I say fairly because there's always a danger present on the island somewhere. Even in the safest areas like here, you will find 
the odd raptor. Of course, there's Dylos everywhere. Find the odd raptor. Maybe a Carnotaurus. But usually nothing bigger than that. You won't find T-Rexes. But along rivers... These guys like rivers. They like being near the water. You will find Spinosauruses. Let's take another look. So close. 7 to 40. So the armor I have for him here is called Roi de Mer. And this comes from, like I said, the mod Pimp My Dino. And it's going to look really pimp on him. Let's check the time, 3 a.m. It's not a lot of light in this area, so hopefully it'll be morning and there'll be a little bit more light by the time he tames. And we'll get a better look at that. Come on, buddy. We're so close. I guess we're pretty lucky. Um, he did clear the area before we actually tranked him, so I think that's probably why we don't see any crocs or dilos or anything else nasty. We also cleared all the mega piranha out of this area, out of the, the river itself, which is why I was able to swim across safely. Yeah, we should be almost there, so maybe about another minute or so. Again, just keeping an eye on the area. Make sure nothing sneaks up on us. I am at a disadvantage. I am just on foot with just an assault rifle and a sword to protect me. I don't have most of my armor. Let's see, his stam has gone up to a thousand, which is really good. Health hasn't gone up. Stam hasn't really gone up, or weight hasn't gone up that much. Damage has gone up quite a bit. That is actually very nice. So this is actually French. Roi de Mer and it means King of the Seas and you guys can barely see that and you'll get a better view as soon as I get out from under these trees look at that Yes, it's just about sunrise. Turn off the HUD so we can see this a little bit better. Oh wow. Ah, this is definitely going to get painted. So it adds lots of little wings to the head. And another spine thing to the nose. And pretty much everywhere around the body, it's armored, extra fins. I like this. I like this a lot. I take off my miner's helmet. Put on my nerdy glasses. And we're going to need to get him some food. Oh, look, there's a Dilo. 
must have just spawned. Gonna pull the kibble out so he doesn't eat it. That thing's expensive. But this is him walking around. This is him sprinting. And let's get into the water. Oh, well, that's pretty good. I'm gonna need to get my scuba gear. Hail the king of the sea. It's got a really large turn rate yet. And really, I can't fight underwater at the moment since I don't have my scuba gear. We'll, uh, Go one on one with a mega shark after. He can hold his breath quite a bit. I unfortunately cannot. I am not spec for that. It's pretty awesome. And a bit laggy. That's the lag from the base rendering, as usual. Just a little bit faster to swim around the coast. Until he runs into a shallow bit. The lag just ruined the beauty shot there. Let's try this again. So I've been thinking, like I said, I've been scouting around for a good location near the base to build something, a pen, a water pen, an area for our water dinosaurs when we get them. And I think possibly the best location is around here, this little inlet here. It's got a little cliff there and I think maybe a lighthouse. I'll build a lighthouse up there, just knock down all those big boulders, make a nice little tower, maybe uh, make it look like a wizard's tower or something, make it pretty high. And then build a gate across the little inlet here. I'm not sure if the large water dinos can actually get into the shallow part. I mean, it looked shallow from the same, but if I jump off... As you can see, it's not too, too shallow. So it might be good for ichthyosaurs, dolphins, and the mega sharks. But what 
what about the really big water dinosaurs like the like the mosasaurs? Not sure. So this is Patrick. So there's a uh, there's new armor, armored saddles for quite a few dinosaurs, including the T-Rex, the Raptors, the scorpions, the birds, even the uh, the the caribou, the stag. And I'll be taking a look at those perhaps in a another episode, a little bit further along. But here he is, the king of the seas, the roi de mer, Patrick. Really hope you enjoyed this episode. Stay tuned for more of my playthrough of Ark Survival Evolved. If you like this video, give us a like subscribe and remember to tell all your friends this is sarcasm detector wishing you a good one